to find the warp! If he finds the warp, he can jump for us. All right, let's play some classic Nintendo, Snow Bros. One of the best games on the Nintendo and one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I have not played this game in a long time, but I still love it. Let's see how good I am at it, though. Whoops. That wasn't that. So one of the things about retro gaming is it's a lot of fun, however, I don't have the space to do the major collecting that I'd like to do, um, but what I can do is get a retro pie and jerry-rig one of these to be able to play all these classics like Snow Bros or Stadium Events even and all the other stuff. So let's check it out. Here's a final build, and on the outside, pretty unsuspecting, and it's here where there's all the good stuff. Uh, so here I got the uh, USB ports for um, the controllers, and uh, on the back side of this there's actually another one, and for that I just put a Bluetooth, a wireless Bluetooth dongle, um, and it's a miniature one, that way I can wirelessly connect to this through Bluetooth and send different files and games and whatever I want to that. Then there's my HDMI. And there's my power cable. And this thing is really sweet. So let's go see it in action. All right, I got everything plugged in but the power. So let's get this thing booted up. Created my own little uh, boot screen here. Since this, uh, it's all retro gaming, I had to get retro on the intro. So what's nice about this is you can pretty much put all your systems on it. Uh, the, the Raspberry Pi Zero has its limitations, uh, so you can't run everything. I mean, you can load it, but it won't really run well. But the classic stuff, it runs really well. But on my Raspberry Pi 3, I have every emulator running pretty much every game. Well, let's go to MAME and we'll check out Donkey Kong since it was on, on the intro. So as you'll see on how it ports, some of it doesn't really come through quite exactly the same. So there's some like sound missing on these. Mostly on these arcade versions, so you don't hear the little squeak of little Jumpman Mario here. Alright, then I have 
have to do is uh, start and select and it'll give you the exit option. Those classic arcade games. Uh, we'll go over to Sega just so you can get a kind of look at what that's like. Let's do, uh, let's do Altered Beast. Now these ones port over pretty well as far as sound and quality. to give you a kind of idea of the different kind of games. So what's nice about this is it's not the exact same, obviously, as having all the games. The quality is a little bit different. Um, and there's a purity to having the games and the systems in its original format. Uh, but I just don't have the space to do all the collecting that I'd like to do. Uh, and it's certainly not as portable. Let's try some Neo Geo. Oh man, Neo Geo was so fun. And you know we're going to have to check out Metal Slug. Now I spent a lot, a lot of quarters on Metal Slug. You get the picture. And you already saw Snow Bros, so I won't go into NES. But let's check out... Check out Super Nintendo. And this was always... A classic for the SNES. Donut planes. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. I, you know, I've really had a great time just playing this with the kids, uh, being able to introduce them to some of these. Uh, these old games that they've never heard of, but actually my kids play more uh, retro gaming than they do uh, <laughs> than they do any current gaming. Yeah, we have Game Gear on here and Game Boy. Um, game Boy's kind of a trip. Uh, let's play like let's, let's play like the best game on Game Boy other than Tetris. Now I play this game for hours. This is so good. It's also really weird to play on a big TV like this. <laughs> Krakow. back and see if there's anything else that we missed that we need to do. Anyways, if you'd like to see like a Let's Play video um, on any one of these classic uh, systems here, just let me know down below what game you'd like to see and I'll definitely uh, post one of those up there. Um, and I, I'm going to build another one, uh, another setup like this using uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, I may not use the cart, um, but uh, definitely uh, I'll videotape that one so you can kind of see the whole process. It's going to be the same. It just depends on what shell you decide to put it in. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like it. Have a good one. Now you're playing with power.